Once there was a little girl named Isabel, who was a delightful little girl. She loved to listen to music and took very good care of her records. In fact, Isabel took very good care of everything that belonged to her. Isabel thought of everything. <laughs> yes, that too. At school, too, she took care of her own things. But as for the things that didn't belong to her, like the school desk, well, that was another story. And the things she shared with the class, she didn't take very good care of them either. For instance, the paste jar. Hey, this paste is all dried up. Who left the top off of it? Isabel. Isabel, do you know anything about that paste? I don't know. Her teacher wasn't very happy with her. Isabel. And neither was the librarian. And what made people unhappy with Isabel at school also made them unhappy at the community center. She never, never took care of things that didn't belong to her. Isabel, that's our new soccer ball. Be sure to bring that back when you throw. Okay. Isabel wasn't any different. If she was playing records that weren't hers, would she think of putting them away when she started doing something else? Sometimes she left a record on top of the amplifier, which gets very hot. And while Isabel was having fun on her brother's skateboard, she ruined so many records. And when she came home, Thoughtlessness often caused her brother to be very unhappy. Isabel! Her mother was unhappy, too. Well, on this particular day, like many others, Isabel had caused a lot of people to be unhappy. And that night, some very strange things started to happen. <laughs> Everything seemed very strange, and it was time to go to school. She remembered about the puppet. 
It belonged to a girl at school. The girl had bought it for all the children to share, and then she let Isabel take it home. It wasn't Isabel's. So, of course, she didn't take care of it. Hi, Susan. Hi, Isabel. I brought your puppet back. Oh, good. What'd you do to it? It's all messed up. I don't know. I just played with it. You ruined it. And then, as she was walking away, something strange started to happen. She heard all those funny voices. She started spinning around and around, and Isabel started changing around and around until Isabel became the girl. The messed up puppet was hers now. She didn't like having a messed up puppet. And then, around and around, Isabel was herself again. But funny, she still felt unhappy. She still remembered feeling as if the ruined puppet was really her own. She knew how the girl felt. Uh-oh. Looks like more trouble. Know why? That's right. Isabel had forgotten to clean the brushes, and she didn't put the lids on the paint jars the last time she used them. And then, it happened again. Round and round. Now Isabel was the one who had to use the dried up paint and brushes. Isabel didn't like that at all. After she became herself again, she still remembered that awful feeling. It wasn't fun using spoiled things. And at the library... Hey, Isabel, where's that book you were reading from yesterday about fairy tales? Um, let me see. Oh, here it is. What'd you do? It's all dirty. I don't know. I just read it. Now, Isabel had the messy book. Isabel had changed into a lot of people. Now she knew how bad everyone felt when they had to use things that she hadn't taken care of. And later at the community center, she was really worried. She didn't like using things she hadn't taken care of, and there were lots of them here. Lots of people were unhappy with Isabel, and now, Isabel was finding out how bad all of them felt. Isabel sure didn't like that. Isabel thought at last it was over. But those sad feelings, they just lasted and lasted. They lasted until she got home, and they didn't stop there. Now she knew how unhappy she had made her brother feel. And her mother, too. Things got stranger and stranger. She kept spinning around and around until... Is it really morning now? Had all that been a dream? Isabel didn't really care. Now she really knew how bad other people felt because of the things she did. 
she realized how important it was to care for the things she shared with other people. And she wanted to show all those people that she had made unhappy that she was going to change. And she did, too. She stopped making other people unhappy. And she found out that it wasn't so hard to take care of the things she had to share with others. It was just as easy as taking care of her own things. Everybody was happy with Isabel now. And making people happy made Isabel feel very good. <laughs>